So uh, the quotient of powers, now what that simply states is if I have a term, and we'll this time we'll do x to the a over x to the b. So if I'm taking a term with the power and dividing by another term with the power, that simply states as x to the a minus b. All right, so let's go and see how this really makes sense. A couple things for us to understand why this is going to make sense. One thing, if I had 4 divided by 4, we know it's going to equal 1. So therefore, uh, you could say that x divided by x equals 1. Right? Any term divided by itself is going to equal 1. Got it? OK. So let's go and take a look at an example. How about we do? Um, how about we take real numbers, right? Because this is arbitrary. We want to figure out what's a concrete example. How about we do 2 cubed divided by 2 squared? Yes? The base has to be the same. Yes. When doing these, you have to make sure you have the same base. So if I did 2 cubed divided by 2 squared, following de this definition, that equals 2 to the 3 minus 2, which equals 2 to the first, which equals 2. Correct? Following the definition, right? As long as you have the same base, you take the exponents, subtract them, and you get 2 to the first power. Now, what, do, what does actually 2 cubed mean? So let me write this out. Maybe it might make a little sense for you. 2 cubed means what? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, right? And 2 squared means 2 times 2. Now, remember, what happens when you take a term and divide it by itself? It divides into 1, right? So how many pairs do we have that do that? 2 divided by 2 goes to 1. 2 divided by 2 goes to 1. And what are we left with? 2. So do you guys see how we can apply the quotient rule, how it works with the real numbers? Do you go through there? Yes. The question? Um, if you had two different bases, could you like multiply them? We'll talk about what to do when you have two different bases. But for right now, we're only working on when we have the same base. OK? Because we not even go through.